Hey guys, what's going on? Happy holidays. Well, we've got a new video for you here. We got a product from Croftgate. They make all kinds of different detailing products and this is their wash and wax. We're gonna use it like a rinse -a wash, but a little differently than I normally do. This may make you cringe, it may surprise you, it may make you run from rinse -a washes, it may make you buy some of this Croftgate uh, wash and wax. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button down here in the corner and you won't miss any of the new videos we put out. Stay tuned, let's get into this video and see what it's all about. All right, so we've got about a gallon of water here. We got four liters and it says to put two capfuls. So this is a pretty thick substance here. So here's one cap full, two cap fulls inside here. Now I'm using this bucket here because it's taller with a gallon of water. It's, it's smaller in uh, diameter so the water stands up taller and there's a reason for that with this product we're not going to use a grit guard and we're not going to use a pre-spray we're just going to use one towel to wash the vehicle and one towel to dry the vehicle i know this is a little different than how we normally do things around here but mark who sent me this product i really appreciate a big shout out uh, told me try this out give the technology a chance and you'll see you can do rinseless washing faster it's just as safe and it's gonna be slick and look shiny when you're done very cool let's get on all right guys we're gonna be doing this on my vehicle here and as you can see there is some dust so I made a little mark there another mark here see the dust levels full of dust this vehicle and that's about how dusty I wanted to use the rinseless wash products we're gonna be using this in the Sun today let's do it let me show you this this is pretty soapy can you see the uh, suds in there all right so we're gonna wash a panel at a time and then we're gonna dry a panel at a time So the big difference here is normally I would pre-rinse the car or use a waterless solution to break down the dirt and debris, but not here. So there's dirt on here. And then put it back in here. This is the same area and the dirt is gone. I haven't unfolded the towel. It's the same fold, same area. The dirt's gone, pretty good. It's in the bucket somewhere, hopefully settling to the bottom. was pretty good it didn't streak at all it came off real easy and dried 
really fast. And that's the reason why you only put two capfuls in a gallon. So it dries and doesn't streak. Can you see the difference here? It's a good 50-50 for you. Nice cleaning power. Cleans the panels, cleans the towels, cleans everything. And it leaves some wax behind for that nice gloss and slickness. Guys, this product is still all about good technique, flipping your towels and using clean sides. You wanna minimize any scratching. Although this one seems to be different, it pulls the dirt to the bottom of the bucket. The product itself is thick and whatever polymers or surfactants it has, does a great job at separating the dirt from your towel on top of pulling them down to the bottom of the bucket. I felt pretty safe after using this a little while and I'm really liking this product. Very, very nice. The gloss and slickness is there, guys. Let me tell you. Now, believe me, guys, I understand your feeling. I'm reintroducing the same towel. There's dirt in the bucket. It's getting on the towel, and I'm grinding it into the paint. I feel you. It's hard for me to redo my brain or my thinking process on it, but I'm just letting go and doing it the way I was told. And I tell you what, it's coming out great. There's not any scratching on my car that I didn't already have. And it's just working. It's pretty amazing. So I understand all the concerns, but this is a different type of rinseless wash than what my normal products do. Another cool thing about not pre-rinsing your car or using the waterless wash is that you don't get water or liquid all inside the door jams and the cracks, so you don't have runoff everywhere. So that's a big plus. Once you wipe and wash all the panels and you dry them, that's it. There's no dripping. There's no needing to blow any cracks or crevices out. It's done. It's dry. You don't have to look back. All right. So there's a lot of dirt here. This towel's dirty here. The dirt is gone, guys. That's pretty amazing. And remember, this isn't for super dirty cars. I mean, you can do it however you want on your vehicle. My car is dusty with a little bit of dirt on it and that's about as dirty as it gets. I do this about every week, four or five days, and it's safe that way. Uh, I wouldn't do this on a car that's been mud bogging or a truck that's been off-roading. You know, that's, that's a different story. But for this application and process, th this works. For the last time, there's dirt. Watch it this way. There's dirt on this toe.
now there's no dirt. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now I'm done with this towel. Now actually you can make this into a spray solution, but since I have this towel and it's clean again, you can wipe down the interiors with it. All right, well, how does this stuff work on on uh, rims? Pretty dirty, so let's, I'm gonna use a wheel towel. I recommend you guys do your rims last and maybe use a separate bucket but I'm just showing you this water was decently clean on top everything had settled to the bottom until I put the rim towel in there and after that you could see a lot of dirt inside there and but it all settles to the bottom so very cool product here really clean to the dirt particles Well, what'd you think of that video? Before I tell you what I think of it, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you press the notifications bell so you get all the new videos we put out. Now let's talk about this Crofgate uh, wash and wax. So I was skeptical about this. Mark F, thank you Mark, by the way, for sending me this because you opened my eyes to a really fantastic product. Guys, this, this pretty much blew my mind. Uh, you know, it suds up in the water there uh, so the surfactants that are in it have a high cleaning ability and they also leave a wax afterward the car looks fantastic it's very shiny it's clean all I did the key to this wash was not dropping the towel all the way to the bottom of the bucket the bottom of the bucket is where those particles of dirt are latching onto the soap or the product and they're sinking all the way to the bottom. It's different than other rinseless washes that I've used. Those particles are spinning around a lot of the times, but at the end, after I did the wheels with this, I could see all that dirt at the bottom when I dumped it out. So you could probably do two or three cars with one gallon of product here one gallon of water and two capfuls of product. That's an eight ounce bottle, it's about $14. What I would do is I would wash as much of the paint on the cars as possible 
You can go into the interior. I did that. That was very easy and cleaned it up real nicely. And dry the panels. Do two panels at a time and dry right after. Dip it in. Wring out the um, towel that you're using and dry. Very, very nice product. This really was an eye opener for me. I pretty much didn't believe that this was gonna be that way. There's no scratching on the car. You're not digging and pressing real hard on this. You're just wiping. And yeah, I might flip the towel and go over an area twice and flip it again and go over where it's really dirty, like the bottom of the doors, um, the rocker panels, you know, the rear hatch, extra dirty in those areas. But this did a fantastic job. It was super fast and one gallon of water. So if you live in an apartment or someplace you don't have water, a little bucket like this with a gallon of water and this bottle of product, one towel to wash and one towel to dry. That's all it was, guys. Very, very cool product. Uh, I'm gonna use the rest of this and I might order some more after that. It was different, just different than my other rinseless washes. That's all I could say and it worked very well. The car's gleaming out there. Now, you guys want to know what's in that box? I'll give you a sneak peek. Hang on. in this box let me show you we got that polish angel in check that out I'm not sure why three are wrapped or not wrapped and one is wrapped, but. What did we get here, guys? Well, we got the Rapid Wax. We got the Presto Detail Spray. We got the Blue Zillion, because my car is blue. And we got the Polish Angel. This is the high gloss. So very cool products here. Can't wait to show you them in upcoming videos. So stay tuned and look out for these videos. 